I'm Brady Mendoza and I'm currently a senior in, at Coral Academy and I got admitted into Harvey Mudd this year and I'll be part of their class of 2026. I've been here for, I'd say about six months for college counseling. The most helpful thing at Excel Academy was definitely the guidance that I got when forming my essay and then actually writing it out and then using my certain essays as like a format for other essays that I would use for my other applications and just having a general idea of what the colleges look for and so I know what I should, what type of things I should put in the essays. For example, instead of kind of bragging about my achievements, I would write more about kind of my personality. So it still made me realize that the thing that really matters in essays is showing your personality and finding an experience in your life that is unique. So I found that unique experience that other people might not have written about. Um, I was able to show my takeaways from that experience and how it developed who I am now with my philosophy. My relationships with my teachers were very good as I found their advice extremely helpful, which kind of made me trust them more. And then they were also very friendly. So uh, I was very open to what they had to say and they were very open to what I had to say. It was a very good relationship. I would say that your essays are definitely one of if the most important aspect of your application. And it seems like a lot of seniors put a lot of weight on their grades and their test scores and they might brag about it in their essays. Whatever you do, at the very least, don't put that in your essay because your, your admissions officers can, they know your merit because they have access to your resume, they have access to your grades and test scores. But what they don't know is that kind of more qualitative data, like your personality. So that's what you really want to show in your essays. So pretty early on into my high school career, I realized that I had interest in piano, specifically classical piano and distance learning. So what I did is I, uh, I enrolled in piano lessons and I joined the cross country team and I put my time into those, I guess, hobbies. But then I, the more time I spent, my passion for them grew and I just got better and better, as well as run some pretty fast times in cross country and track. And I even became the team captain for my cross country team and the track team. So I plan on studying something in like computer science, math, or physics. Uh, my plan is after getting my undergrad at Harvey Mudd to get a graduate degree at big tech school like MIT or Caltech, and I ultimately want to get into quantum computing. Thank you.